Hey guys, it's Allison. I'm here with another process video, this one using the Wonder Collection. Um, I'm just going to scrap an older photo of my daughter, so I'm just cutting it down here. Um, I am trying to scrap older photos of my daughter. I have so many still that I need to scrap, and the worst part is that I still have a ton on my old phone that I need to scrap as well, but it's just like... I don't know, you know when you haven't turned an iPhone on in a while, how it takes, like, you have to charge the battery, but it takes, like, an hour for it to even turn on? It's that situation, and I know I should just do it so that they're, that I have them, and I will, but I don't know. I just, I need to do it. Also, apparently they're in my cloud, but I have no idea how to get things from my cloud. I think you can't get things from your cloud unless you have an Apple computer, which I do not have. Anyway... <laughs> Um, so now I am doing some layering of my photos. Um, I used a scrap here and then I'm just using some pieces from the 6x6 pad. Um, this is a picture of my daughter actually at Christmas time, but you can't really tell it's Christmas. And she's like, this Christmas tree ornament is like a little red truck. Um, and she's like driving it on the ground like it's a car. So I took a picture because like this was at the time when I didn't know that she knew how to like she knew how to play with cars like that because she didn't have any cars before that, like any toy cars. And then I went and bought her from the thrift store, I bought her some Hot Wheels because, let's be serious, Hot Wheels are expensive and you can get like a bag of them for like $3 at the thrift store. Just wash that and then it's all good. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so I didn't even know that she knew to play with, um, with cars, so... This was like a little bit of an, ex not an experiment. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> anyway, so I decided that I just thought that that background looked a bit too plain, so I wanted to use a piece of this blue paper as well. Even though I used the smaller version of it to mat it, I just wanted to put, like, I, I plan on just, obviously, I put a few more layers between that and it, and I don't think it looks bad. I'm, I am using a piece of this vellum from the poolside collection just because I didn't buy any specialty papers from this collection because I don't know because I should have but I didn't because I wanted more of the actual papers I don't know I have no reasoning really I just didn't I like it I like the triangle paper and I've put it in my card a few times but I just haven't done it so I'm just figuring out how I want that to be I am seriously low on vellum in general but vellum with gold even more I only have like a few pieces left of this piece from the poolside collection and then some from the open book collection as well and I had to get a new tape I buy these tapes at the dollar store sorry wow my head is like really in there I don't understand I was watching a show while editing this so maybe I just wasn't paying attention because usually I cut out the pieces where my head is like very apparent <laughs> anyway um yeah I buy my tape from the dollar store I don't know, apparently Canadian dollar stores are cool because they sell that brand. I have some of it around, don't I? I don't see any. The one with the purple lettering. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. It's really cheap. They sell it at Walmart too, but it's like $3 at Walmart and at the dollar store it's like $1 for whatever. So This tape is not from that brand. This tape is like, I don't even know, but it's it's $1.50 per tape thingy. So, And it works decently. I don't know if it's acid free. Probably, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> now, oh, I just inhaled some of my own hair. Anyway, so now I'm just placing this floral chipboard piece. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the floral chipboard pieces are my favorite, and I wish that they had put more on this chipboard set um, because it's beautiful. And I love using the florals like tucked under the photo like this. It's like one of my go tos. Um, yeah, so I decided since I didn't really know what other decoration slash embellishment is the word I'm looking for, embellishments I wanted to put on, I decided to put the title. Um, so the title is Vroom Vroom, because I'm cool like that. I really hope I spelled it right. I think that's how you spell it. Is Vroom even actually a word? <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so something I did notice about these letters is well, obviously I knew they were really flat, but they definitely look very flat on the on the thing, which is strange because they're thickers, and I don't know. I kind of wish they were slightly less flat. But anyway, now I'm going through the embellish or the 
die cuts and just trying to decide what else I want on here. Um, I really, I don't know. I'm, I like working with a collection like I've been doing here, but I honestly am starting to miss my just like random collections of whatever I feel like goes on a page, goes on a page and just use like whatever I want. I don't know. I feel like I really do like the way that this page turned out, but it's a lot more plain than like what I would normally do, I think. I don't know. I feel like I don't know how long I will use these. I'll probably make a couple more layouts with this like this, and then I might just like put it in, in with my stash. I'm seriously considering doing that with the Pink Fresh Studio stuff as well, just because I think Pink Fresh Studios, I love Pink Fresh Studios. I do. I just think that like their collections need a little bit more, I think. I don't know. I really do like them, obviously, but I feel like, and then I also feel like the papers are almost too much together. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel in a couple of days. But yeah. So I totally broke my not going to buy anything until the new collections come out. <sighs> I, um, well, obviously, I told you guys I bought some enamel dots. I didn't really count that because I needed those. I, like, I'm so low on enamel dots. But then I went to Calgary this weekend and I went to Michael's and I bought some stuff. I posted it on my Instagram. I'm not going to do a haul because it's a small amount of stuff. And then today I went to Calgary again because uh, I had to take my daughter in for some doctor's appointments. And I bought some more stuff, which I filmed, but the video was, like, corrupted. So, yeah, and I'd already, like, used some and put it away, so I didn't want to do it again. But I got some of the, like, a couple of the new Heidi Swap Project Life things which are super cute and super overpriced, <laughs> but they're 40% off right now, so hey. Yeah, um, I think I'm done this layout. <laughs> Sorry I didn't tell you much. I hope you like the way it turned out, and I will see you guys soon. All right, bye. Mm -hmm.